want to talk about one of your one of your hits, man. Girlfriend, man. Yeah, <laughs> I got I, I got to touch on this, man, because you know uh, you know I feel like when Drake made Marvin's Room, right. he made it cool to be like, man, fuck that nigga you with. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? I'm you know I'm trying to this is a situation right now. We gonna right. leave it at that. How how with that song, girlfriend? How credible is that in your life? You know, as far as man, that shit, a, a female that boot shit. up and she just like she just chose man, on you. That shit credible in everybody's life, boy. <laughs> Not just my life; it's credible yo, in everybody's yo. life, boy. Because yo. at the end of the day, boy, you can't you got to you got to you got to get the right one. And yeah. Because at the end of the day, boy, these girls have you looking crazy out here, boy. Have you have you ever had a, a have you ever have had, you had a, a females a females <laughs> boyfriend? Come at you like what the fuck, my nigga? You you fucking up my life. You fucking up hey, my. You know it's crazy, bro. I think because I'm so low key, I haven't though. <laughs> he said I'm so kind of low key with it. So I ain't that, yeah, I'm low key with it. Like I ain't the type like finna be like. Hey, I just I won't even tell. I, don't, like, I, I just fuck. Hey, I just that. fuck so and so bit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I ain't really even that tight. Like I ain't gonna count. Like I keep my shit. I don't kiss and tell. Like yeah, nigga, I wouldn't even I ask just, if you got a boyfriend. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> To be honest, the girls would tell you they got a boyfriend. They be like, you know, I got a boyfriend, right? I'm like, she already finna do it. What the hell you telling yeah, me? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm supposed to tell like, you. What can I do with this information? Yeah, what, yeah where, where, where's this going? Got right. There. Man, so 2020 did hit us hard, man, as far as a lot of niggas won, a lot of niggas lost. Uh, for you yourself, man, um, how was 2020 for you? Did you come up? Was any setbacks as far as shows being stopped? Uh, you know, money Shit. being made? For me, I say it was a win and a loss because uh, I, I had I had I, I'm making I made money and shit off like endorsements, yeah. off of um, off of features, shit like that. I couldn't do no shows, and like in the beginning though, I had to figure it out. I had to go. I had to. I been. I'm always in hustling mode, but I had to get get in hustling mode type shit. Figure this shit out. And in the beginning, like I was just like. I ain't really know what I would do. I lost a, on the way. I lost a lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. I seen who were really with me. I seen how much I had in me to really pick this shit back up. So it like, I say it's a win and a loss because I'm straight now, but it's a win because it, it really taught me a lot about myself that I didn't know. Like, it really made me smarter, to be honest. So now this year, like, it ain't no stopping me. I feel like that's what it did for a lot of people though, cause it wasn't, to, for me, it wasn't a good year, but it wasn't, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm breathing, I'm straight. Um, I want to ask you about, um, you know, you know, you've been signed to uh, Atlantic, right? Right. But now you're independent, right? Uh-huh. So for you, you know, um, going on to the 2021 conversation, do you think, you know, because we watch other artists go independent and start turning up. Right. You know, um, for you, what is the plan now that you're independent? You you gain so much knowledge in the industry. Right. How do you plan on attacking it now? Uh, to be honest, I wanna uh, I wanna go independent. I'm gonna keep it independent for a minute until uh, because a lot of people don't know. Like for some people, it might a label might go well with them, but um, sometimes like a label, like if you don't got nothing going on and like you just starting off, a label would try to point you in another direction to make yeah. you blow and that might not be you. But when you already got your shit going on, like you got your numbers, your fan base, like you straight because they can't tell you nothing. Like they can't tell you to do this now because they see the numbers, you're gonna be straight. So what I wanna do, I'm finna do this shit straight, independent, drop drop music, just, just grind it out. And then probably like when the shit pick all the way up where I want to, I wanna partner up Cause I, of course I want this shit to be global. So sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta go with the bad. So I want to part, I don't want to sign no more though. I want to do a partnership. Like, yeah. because at the end of the day, I want to own my masters. I want to do all that. So like, I want to do a partnership with the right company type shit. So, you know, this is, this is good because it's educational. Cause we get a lot of cats who come here that are independent. Yeah. That they work the independent game, but they say, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to probably go to a, you know, get a deal. Right. And even on your end, you know, seeing a deal and saying, I'm going to go independent. Yeah. Um, for those that's sitting at home that's trying to get in this game and, you know, it's, it's free game if you want to give it. Yeah. Um, what should they surround themselves with if, they, if they're independent? They're going to do it themselves. What pieces should they put in, you know, in their position as far as to help, help them out? Oh, uh, shit. If they going to do it themselves, shit, I would get them. I would tell them, you got to goddamn take advantage of all the internet shit, all yeah. the apps, Instagram. 
Goddamn, doing interviews like this, YouTube, yeah. dropping videos, dropping music, getting on all them platforms. Um, and shit, sometimes, you know what's crazy though, cause shit, at the end of the day, when you don't got the funds and shit, you got them got to pay the bills. Yeah. Got down, your baby mama need this. Like that shit get hectic and people feel like they got to take this little $10,000 little deal where you getting your life fucked up at. But it's like, really sometimes like you just got to, you just got to got down. Do you, do you, I was do you say, what? do you feel an artist should either have, should have a manager, should have a PR, should mm. have, if they don't run a social media, somebody should be running, you know, should they have people or a team in place? Nah, I don't think so. I think, I think when you get to that, I think when you get to that point, you can though. But I think like, if you literally got no fans, like now if you can get that for sure, if you can get that for sure, yeah, you want to be my man, you want to be my PR, yes. But if you starting for no fans, bro, you got to do that shit on your own. You got to put your mindset together and figure out what's going to get you these views, what folks going to fuck with from you. You just got to put that shit together yourself. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.